Hello everyone, my name is Jesse, this is the Auditorium. I react to video game music for the first time. Today is the return of a little game on this channel called Persona 5. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a while. This is a huge series on this channel. It always gets uh, a lot of attention, and for good reason. Persona music is farkin' incredible. Um, It's quite amazing. It's it's super unique, and I love it. And it's just um, it was my introduction to the Persona series it's five. So, you know, I like uh, Lin's voice and all that. Uh, but today is going to be two songs. One is called "Life Goes On," and the other one's called "Freedom and Security" from the channel BFR's OST, requested by DJ Singletone and Quetzal, two longtime supporters. Thank you very much. We're gonna start off with "Life Goes On." Uh, they're both pretty short. Let's just get into it. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Life goes on. <laughs> face people make Sounds like it would be a vocal. I guess it's very open. Hold on, I gotta do some studying. I must do some research. Oh, dude, I love the instrumental though. If it, if it is just instrumental. Oh nice! Someone I'm subscribed to on Patreon has a cover of it. I'm gonna watch that later. <laughs> Good and so smooth all the time. Oh, you know what the length reminds me of? It's probably not this way at all, but do you guys remember? Maybe, maybe some of you don't remember if you're under like the age of 20, but back when this thing called like CD albums were a thing, even cassette, mm, I'm not sure about cassettes, but they would just throw like in the middle of an album, they would throw like a random like song that was like a minute or two of just instrumental. And it just kind of made the album feel like a book sort of thing. That felt like it was one of those like interlude type things. Um, I'm going to click another link. Just to see. This isn't requested, by the way. I'm looking at another ones. I just want to see if that has vocals in it or if it's the same thing. I'm going to skip a little bit. Sorry. I don't want to skip this, though. It sounds so good. So, does this song just not exist in any other way? It just seems like that would be a pristine time for Lynn to sing over. By the way, um, huge shout out to uh, Joe Montal. Montal. Um, he's, a, he's like a drummer, YouTuber. I've been sub to him on Patreon for a while. He has a cover of this. I, I'm noticing right here. I have it like locked and ready to go. <laughs> uh, he has a cover of it on the drums. Okay, cool. So... 
I mean, what else can I say that I haven't said about Persona 5 already? The soundtrack, um, it's just really special, dude. It's, it's made to make you move. People that love to dance, love it. People that don't even normally dance probably catch themselves, like, grooving along. You know, it's just a feel-good soundtrack. It's a feel-good soundtrack. You know, and honestly, to be totally honest, from the footage I've seen and the pictures, I, I can honestly say, well, no, I can't honestly say. I'm going to ask. And it might be hard to ask you guys because you're biased and you play the game. But, like, does the music of Persona match, like, the settings? I don't, I don't know if that's... It's, it's probably hard for you to answer this because you can't imagine anything else but that music playing where it goes. But for example, when I hear this, I definitely am picturing like a cigar lounge or like some sort of just club or some kind of setting like that. But I know the music kind of goes into like the focus of school and seasons and semesters and that kind of thing. That's, that's kind of the the gist of what I got after all this time of hearing Persona, it's like, it has to do with revolving around the school year, and the reason the games are so long is because you're hearing, like, uh, you're going through, like, the month, the, the, the school year, or something like that, I don't know. But either way, the music is just fantastic, and I mean, it has everything that I like, you know? I've said multiple times that the bass is one of my favorite things, and it's just like, it's all over Persona, especially 5. You know, there's a big emphasis on funk and groove. Everything sounds like a breakbeat. The Rhodes piano is everywhere. I love the Rhodes piano. It just it just feels good, man. It just feels good. And it puts you in a good mood every time. And I think that's pretty much all there's to say about it, you know? I still... I, Persona has some of the most memorable music that I've had on the channel. Considering how many songs I've heard on the channel, it's... It's... There's a, there's a lot I can, like, remember off the top of my head, like the uh you know the was it the battle for everyone's souls i remember what that sounds like wake up get up get out there um rivers in the desert there's uh the one that i always listen to it i can't think of the name right now oh, dun, 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 dun. where have you been i can't remember the song right now but it's just always in my playlist it's just always um it's gonna come to me randomly don't worry um but yeah, it's just it's just great to hear every single time. Don't know where that plays. You guys can fill me in. That's kind of where I was like going with that of like um, if it matches because I couldn't think of anything. You know, when I think of Persona, I never think of a setting ever. It's just so like hell yeah, I'm listening to this and I'm in the moment and I'm enjoying it. Oh, one more thing. It's not too long ago I did a Persona Five video and I did a recommendation for a, <laughs> a song by. Um, uh, Velvet Dreamer, you know, every, every now and then I'll like recommend some songs that sound similar from like a real band or something and I remember I recommended that and then I saw that video and there was like people that like, you know, thank you Jesse for showing me the song and like that. It was cool to see people that like went from that reaction to my recommendation. It was, I felt, I feel special. <laughs> so that was Life Goes On and while I think of that Persona song that's in my head and I can't think of it, we're gonna hear Freedom and Security. By the way, I would just have to assume that both of these are Shoji Maguru, but let me know if there's any other uh, composers on these ones. Freedom and Security. Interesting title. Beneath the Mask. <laughs> See, I told I was going to remember randomly. Yeah, Freedom and Security <laughs> from Persona 5. Ooh, interesting new intro. That's the Rhodes piano, by the way, that sound you're hearing. Or arpeggios. Like, think of, just listen to this part right here. It's like blues, jazz, and hip hop all at once. And like, the, in the span of 10 seconds. I like that big percussion, whatever that is. Oh, oh modulation. Another instrumental. You 
know what this sounds like? It sounds like, you know when people say like, <laughs> as a response to say, mood. I can't give it a specific example besides that. Like, I feel like taking a walk today. Mood. <laughs> this is what I hear like this. Persona music is like, it's like almost cheating, dude. It's so good. Ooh, bass solo. Where are we going with this? This soundtrack has so many songs because I never want to run out of hearing Persona 5 songs. If I play this game, I'm gonna run out of hearing songs, you know what I mean? This way I can kind of stretch it out. Oh, the drum set sounds amazing. another one of those recommendations but something you might not expect and it's not super similar but the guitar reminds me of it keep that in mind um this is uh just like a little side tangent i don't want to go on for too long but for the longest time like growing up at least in the the guitar world of where i grew up you know there's always been this debate of like I know it sounds silly to think, but it's just how people are and you know how the internet is, but people would always be like, is John Mayer good? You know, like, is he, is he just like, and as I've grown older, well, yes, he's amazing. But as I've grown older, I've noticed something in that. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because of what I'm about to recommend. But um, John Mayer not only is incredible, but he's like, he's kind of cheating. Like, you know, he's got like the looks, the voice and the chops. So what it comes down to is basically jealousy. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's totally understandable why people would kind of like hate. But speaking of that, the guy is incredible with like making the guitar speak. And the guitar work in this one sounds very close to what he does. Very close, except his has a little bit more of a... Uh, it's not just like so... It's not like... Uh, in this one, it's obviously just like a, a melody. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. His are more like expressive and free form and improv, that kind of thing. It's blues. Anyways, the song I recommend is called Belief from John Mayer. It's a really, really cool song. It's going to get stuck in your head. I can almost guarantee it'll get stuck in your head. The guitar is really good. The drums are pretty similar to this. It's not jazzy and like slow, but it's somewhat similar. Anyways, this one of the biggest reasons I like Persona, why I love Persona. Is like I said earlier, I've been listening to Persona now for just about three years. And if I play, I've, I've already said multiple times, sorry, but like I have no interest in playing them. I just don't. Maybe not now. I've said that before with other games and I played them, but I just, I just haven't had that like, that spark to play them. But in, but in a way that's cool because I can keep reacting to music. You know what I mean? Like if I, if I play them, sure. I could experience them and have context and all that, but 
it would eventually come to an end, you know, and then I would just run out of songs too. But this way, I don't know. It's like, I, I just, I can enjoy it longer and I can just listen to, and appreciate the music for what it is, which essentially is what this channel is about. I'm not here to like talk about persona the game. I'm here to talk about the characters, you know, it's just the music, like the music never, to me, when I, when I came up with this channel, it was like the video game music was never really appreciated too much like people liked it and there was people like me who really liked it and just talked about it for the small group of people but there was no or there wasn't a lot of like appreciation straight up just for it so apparently other people agree with me and that's why i'm still here but you know what i mean so like i'm totally okay with just hearing the music and appreciating it standalone because i learned so much i learned in a different way and i get to consume it in a different way. So I'm still a Persona fan. I just never play the games. But I'm a music fan, and as a music fan, it'd be pretty much impossible to not instantly fall in love with Persona music. It's so good, you know? And what's interesting about it too is this counterpart, Shin Megami Tensei, the series. It's It almost seems like they go out of their way now to be completely different from each other. You know, Shimagami, I think, is very, like, aggressive and, you know, like, it's just a lot more um, not focused on the dance. It's mostly on, like, the grittiness of it, the raw energy. Still catchy, though. Still cool stuff. But, you know, this is just all about, like, the jam, the chill, the, the cool, the collective, the, all that. I don't even think, as far as I know, Persona 5 specifically ever, ever goes to like beyond the chill. You know, I know I know 3 can go into a little bit like of a punk and rock thing. But I feel like there's no really like super intense music in 5. I could be wrong. But I'd be very interested to see like if they do. If they go into like a more... Like what would you say is the most intense song? If there is one. Because I feel like they're all like this. Which is fine it's just i from what i've been told in the comments each persona game has not only their own singer but their own vibe too you know four has a really special sound to me and i'm not trying to compare and whatever but you know three has a very specific sound to me five sounds like five to me two i don't have enough to make an opinion on but it's i think kind of rock like one sounds very interesting to me the first game sounds very interesting to me, and I like it quite a bit. I've heard a couple of songs from it, but it's just cool that each one is like different. So if they ever make a Persona 6, which I'm sure they will, because I'm pretty sure this did really, really well. I don't know if it's if it's ended it or not, the story's ended or anything. I would have to imagine, hopefully, they would go in another direction just to see what else they can do. But also, at the same time, maybe they might be scared to, like, deviate from this one because this one did so well. I don't know what the most successful Persona was, but if I had to guess, it was 5. And that's just a guess. So, I don't know. I'm very curious to, like, if... if uh, I've never even mentioned or thought about the idea of Persona 6, so let me know if you guys, the fans, if there's been rumors or anything, or what can we expect. Anyways... Both great songs. Don't know where they were play. I just enjoyed them both. They both sounded like I would be having a nice cigar and like a martini or something and just kicking my feet up at like some resort. <laughs> I just really love the soundtrack to this game and it'll never get old. That's it. That's it. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what to say about Persona, man. It's just, it's too good. It's cheating. It's cheating. Oh, I totally forgot. I'm doing another Persona video after this. Oh. <laughs> I was so invested in this one mentally that I completely forgot I'm about to do two big songs for Persona right after this. So, gotta prepare mentally for that. Thank you to DJ Singletone and to Quetzal. I will see you in that video. And um, thank you to my Patreon members here. Couldn't be here without them. Thanks you for watching. My name is Jesse in the auditorium. Later.